after Mr. Bear will tell you a story about one of us. Tell you a story about a squirrel. Look how many flowers we've gathered. What do you need them for? I use them to make a special honey that calls for a hundred different flowers. A special honey? Wow! Yep, I'll prepare a lot of it, and there will be enough for all of you. Enough for all of us. <laughs> a honey made with a hundred types of flowers? Mm -hmm. That's worth stealing. And steal it, I will. Looks like it's starting to rain. I better go cover the hives. You want. I'm your new neighbor, and I just came over to say hi. 
For what reason, huh? I want to become your friend. Look what I brought you. Thank you. Very, very kind, but I can't accept. <laughs> oh. But wait a second. You have a cold, and this will cure it. What? Are you saying that the bear is sick? Yes, he has a fever. Let's go to him right away. Sit up, you big lug. What's going on? I've prepared a wonderful fish soup. Now eat it before it gets cold. It's very good for you. Open wide. I hope you're being honest with me because foxes are usually crafty, aren't they? No. How could you possibly doubt me? Eat it all up, and soon you'll feel much better. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Really good. Am I sweating so much? That's good. It's all thanks to the soup. The more you sweat, the sooner you'll feel better. Now lay down and try to get some rest, my friend. I'll take care of the bees. Everyone wants your honey. It may get stolen from you, and I can help. Don't you worry. The thief would end up like a hamburger. Yes, sir. <laughs> Stay covered up. See you later. As soon as I find out where that hive is, the honey will be mine. Dummy. Look! The fox! She's been visiting the bear. I hope there's nothing wrong. The bear looks very sick. Look at that bowl. The fox fixed him something to eat. Oh. I hope that fox isn't up to some nasty trick. He doesn't look good at all. Anyone home? Yo! Hmm. Now where has that dummy gone? Good day. Uh -huh. What are you doing around these parts again? I came to see how you're doing. Much better thanks to you and your cooking. <laughs> oh, my soup did very little, my friend. Your constitution did most of it. <laughs> you think so? Oh, there's no denying it. <laughs> so what can I do for you? I brought you all. Oh, I brought you these. I know you need them for the honey. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> Thank you. What do you want in exchange? Would you like some honey? No, not at all. Ever since I was little, I've never been able to digest honey. I don't even like the smell. That's too bad. Oh, yes, it's a hive. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, what a horrible smell that honey. Oh, I feel sick. You know, you should be more careful with your honey. Yeah. I've seen a lot of untrustworthy animals around these parts. Whoever touches the honey will get his just desserts. <laughs> In that case, would we'll try to steal the honey, knowing it belongs to you, right? Yeah. You should let it be known it belongs to you. Get it? I think I found a solution. Uh, you do? We need to post a sign. <laughs> you should put a sign on your hives. Then everyone will know to stay away. What do you think, eh? Well, I'm out of here, Teddy. 
See you later. Sure. The sign's a good idea. Yeah, that's it. Wow. It's great. Do not touch the bear's hut. Now I can relax. It's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yay, how are you doing today? I couldn't be doing better, can't you tell? Uh, did you bring those flowers for me? Huh? Yes, what's that sign say? Don't touch the bear's honey. It was the fox's idea. She's really smart. <laughs> what? Oh, maybe you <laughs> like the idea, but perhaps you've forgotten something. What are you talking about, huh? This way, everyone will know where the honey is. It's not too smart. I don't understand. The sign will make the foxes work even easier. She wants to steal the honey from you. <laughs> uh, no, just relax. She's not being wily. That's not so. You must trust me on this one. I know what I'm She's talking about. You guys just don't know her like I do. <laughs> She's trying to swim by you. They shouldn't you. believe a word she Get says. Over here. That's enough. I told you not to worry. I know what I'm doing. You go and gather the flowers, and I'll take care of them. Come on, get going. Hurry up, That's get lost. Want. Shoot. You better go on. <laughs> Once again, we've gathered a hundred different 
<laughs> We're almost there. The bear's gonna be so happy. Oh dear. Now catch me sticky fingered if I don't do something fast. Hey, look over there. Mr. Bear! Mr. Bear! Hey! Hey! hey no! Mr. Bear! Mr. Bear! Something <laughs> terrible has happened! The hive is gone! It's gone? What do you mean? I mean, it's not there any longer. Gone! Uh, someone! Someone stole it! Huh? What? We have to go back and look for it! Oh, our friends must have taken it. You see, what did I tell you? Oh, what a relief! Uh, 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 uh. That's good news. Don't wear yourself out. Try to rest that leg a little. I have things to do. <laughs> See you later. Uh, no way. Take a little honey, why don't you? You're very kind. No, thank you. Like I said, honey is something that I just can't stand. <laughs> yeah, that's what you said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks. Thanks a lot for all your help. <laughs> it's rare to find good friends like you. Thanks for bringing me the hive, boys. Where'd you find it? Down there in the woods. <laughs> mm, delicious. Put the flowers in the jars, and then we'll fill them with honey. Uh, was right. Oh, how could it be empty? I don't know. I wasn't there. It was you guys that brought the hive out of the woods. What's he saying? Huh? It wasn't us that ate the honey. Wait, no, sir. Oh, who was it then? I'll grind him into hay. It's oh. easy enough to oh. figure out. Besides who us, only the fox. No, it wasn't her. Uh-uh. No. You didn't take down the sign. Of course not. I'm absolutely certain it was the fox. Let's go find her. Stop, everybody! You're making a big mistake. Dirty thief! Take us to the guilty one. What? That's where the dirty thief's hiding. Come out, you coward! Ouch! <laughs> Show your face around these parts again! Oh no! I beg you! I'm your friend! Remember my soup! It's all a misunderstanding! 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 I was really. 
they stupid to believe in you. Disappear! <laughs> no! The squirrel. How is the squirrel classified in the animal kingdom? The squirrel is a mammal belonging to the order of rodents and to the Scuridae family. It has a sleek body with a short pointed nose and a bushy tail about the same length as the body. How many species are there and where do they live? There are about 200 known species of squirrels, divided into six different strains or genus. They live all over the world, with the exception of Australia, Madagascar, and the southern regions of South America. The most common species are the tree squirrel and the grey squirrel. How do they live? The squirrel spends most of its life among the foliage of tall trees. This is where it builds its nest, using twigs, moss, and lichens. How do they move? Squirrels are very agile animals, and they move around by leaping from one branch to the next, or they scamper across the ground, pausing briefly in the erect position. What do they eat? Their staple diet is buds, fruit, seeds, bark, fungus, and berries, but they also eat grubs, snails, and bird's eggs. They're particularly fond of pine nuts, walnuts, and hazelnuts. How do they protect themselves? When they sense danger, squirrels escape across the trees with their characteristic agility. Their usual predators are birds of prey and the marten, a carnivore which is equally skilled at moving in the treetops. How do they relate to people? Squirrels are constantly being hunted for their fur and consequently do not usually like people. All the same, they can be tamed make excellent pets and playmates. Can they live in the city? Public parks are usually inhabited by squirrels. In the course of time, they get used to the presence of people and even learn to accept handouts of food. Well, have you all learned the lesson? <laughs> the moral of the story is it's never good to be too sure because sometimes you can be wrong. <laughs> Oh, look who's coming! <laughs> <laughs>